Hey everyone, I just want to give you a quick demo of a doorbell I hacked with my sensors in Arduino. Uh, there's not too much to show except for my ugly doorbell here. Um, but basically it does two things. Uh, it turns off the doorbell sound, so I used a relay to turn off the sound. So to show you here with my app, so right here I press it. Hopefully you can hear that. And then uh, I'll turn off the sound. So it's off, and now when I press it, it doesn't make any noise. So that can be useful for babies, sleeping, whatever. Um, I'll just turn that back on there, and then do a quick demo. Again, hopefully you heard that. And then the other thing it does, it just sends a triggered uh, state to my home automation controller, which is Vera. So I can use that to trigger uh, any number of things trigger video camera so it records. If the alarm's on you could trigger another sound like a dog barking or you could turn on lights. could send yourself a text message or make a custom doorbell sound if you wanted to do that. So there's a lot of different possibilities you can have just by uh, triggering your doorbell. So you can figure out whatever you wanted to do but uh, let me go ahead and show you how I built this now. Okay so this is what the device looks like. I don't have it wired into my doorbell yet. Uh, I just want to show you it, um, all the wiring connections before I connected it into my doorbell. Uh, for me, that was the most difficult part of this project was getting it to fit in the case, the existing case, because it's so cramped in there. So before I plug it in there, uh, get it all connected in, I want to show you the wiring. Uh, also, I have a link in the video description to a wiring diagram. So you don't have to uh, try and remember all these connections here. It's more of just an overview, show you how it's physically connected and then you can check out the wiring diagram in the link. Okay, so first we have our standard uh, radio. This is on all of my sensors projects, uh, at least mine. Um, we have a 4.7 microfarad capacitor here. Uh, that just helps filter the power to the radio, um, filter out any power spikes. Uh, and then we have a relay. So we're going to be connecting in the power um, to the doorbell through the normally open line here. So that's uh, this one here. There's a little break in the line. So it'll be connecting in there. Uh, and then this is just power. So I am running five volt power. I have it very easily accessible. So rather than dealing with a converter, inverter, anything like that, I'm just running five volt DC power right to this device. So I'm gonna connect that into here, which is my relay power, my Arduino power here um, as well. Okay, and then this is the line that's going to go to the doorbell. So you're going to need to connect ground to one side of the line that goes to your doorbell, and then this is input 3, which will go to the other side of your doorbell. One drawback to this design is if your doorbell has a light on it, the button has a light, that will no longer work. Mine doesn't, so that's not a concern to me, but uh, that is one drawback to this design. One other thing I wanted to know is the Pro Mini has a 3.3 volt uh, output. Power. So I'm pulling right off of that and going into my radio and I'm just making it so I don't have to use a step down regular because space is so cramped already. So I'm using 3.3 volts on this Arduino. Alright, now I'm going to go connect it into my doorbell and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's everything wired up. Uh, we got the power line here, uh, my AC power line. So you can see the, the common or ground is just going into uh, my front doorbell um, here and then the uh, the power is going into my relay. It normally opens, so it will not be on unless the relay turns on. And then it goes down into the uh, doorbell here. And then this is my doorbell line, so I just took that off. Um, the existing connection that used to go in here, now it's just going from the ground, which is right here, um, my 5 volt power, and then the other end up here connects into my Arduino pin 3 like we already talked about. So that's it. Now I just need to shove it all in there and put the cover on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just tuck the Arduino and radio over here. Really, I uh, screwed down one of the corners just so it doesn't move. Uh, and obviously, you can see I covered everything with electrical tape to um, just keep anything from touching, any of the connections from touching and shorting out. So that's what it looks like. Just need to put the cover on and we're ready to go. 
Uh, so let's go take a look at the code. Okay, so here's the code. I'm not going to cover installing the Arduino IDE or the MySensors libraries. I've already done that in another video that I'll link to in this video. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can check that out. All right, so the first thing you may want to change is this node ID. So if you want to manually assign an ID, uh, you can do that here with just a number. Um, or you can just set it to all caps auto instead of the number 16 here, and then uh, it would automatically assign one for you. Next, we just have our pins here. So the doorbell pin, the actual button on your doorbell, is going to be connected into pin 3 like we talked about already. Relay pin is 4. If you wanted to change those, you could do that here. And then the child IDs, you can leave those the same or switch them if you want. Relay on and relay off um, are just set to 1 for on, 0 for off. But if for some reason your relay is behaving differently, you could switch those. So if it's turning on when it should be turning off and off when it should be turning on, just switch the 1 and the 0 there. Okay, moving down, we have doorbell delay. So what that's going to do is delay the ability to press the doorbell for the time that's entered here. So I have it set to 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So my doorbell will only register a press every second. So I use this to keep uh, my kids from constantly triggering it if they you know, press it rapidly. My kids seem to love to do that. So uh, this just prevents that. So if you wanted to uh, shorten that time out or make it a little bit longer, you could do that with this here. And then moving down, we have ring time. So what that is, is the delay between uh, the relay on, relay off. My doorbell has two tones. Uh, so the first one will turn the relay on and chime the first tone, I guess, or sound the first tone. And then there's a delay of 700 milliseconds. And then it turns it off, which sounds the other chime. So if you want to adjust that a little bit, uh, you could definitely do that here. Okay, these other variables can just stay the same. You don't have to touch these. I just did want to explain one of these. This doorbell sound right here is used to keep track of um, if it should ring or not. Uh, and that is uh, the value received from your controller, so the on-off switch that I did in the demo. Uh, and then that will be stored in EEPROM. So that will survive a power loss. So if your node for some reason loses power and then starts back up, it will remember the last state that it was. So quiet or ring. Okay, so the one last thing I wanted to talk about is it was important for me for this doorbell to continue to function even if I lost uh, connection to my home automation controller, gateway, any of the many pieces that complete my home automation system. I wanted this doorbell to still function independently on its own. If the relay, or sorry, if the doorbell is pressed, the relay will still turn on and off as long as the actual doorbell is still getting power. So even if everything else is down in my house, the internet, the uh, home automation controller, the gateway, any of that, the doorbell will still sound with this code here. So uh, that's one thing that was important to me. So that's pretty much all you need to know with the code. It's really simple. Um, so you can change some of those variables if you want, but for the most part you should just be able to plug it in, upload the code, and have it work for you. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, check out the MySensors forum. Uh, the link is in the description. That's where you'll also find the wiring diagram, the code, everything else. Uh, so yeah, feel free to jump over there if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching, everyone.